did, we did it. Hello and welcome to Tennessee Valley this morning on WTMB. Joe and Kim Paylor with you, middle of the week Wednesday. Got to get to it. That's right, and I'm already in trouble. Are you no thing. kidding? I My know, goodness. I'm telling you. I've been up since 4 o'clock. <laughs> get here by 6.30. What have you been doing? It takes a lot more. I've got a lot more hair than you have. Uh, <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> but mine is styled and sprayed better. Well, yeah. Uh, it better. is sprayed better. <laughs> anyway, uh, Joe and Kim Taylor with you. It is middle of the week Wednesday. Thank you so much for being with us. We want to thank James and Stacy Dunn for our show yesterday. They hosted yesterday morning's show. Had a great show. Um, and then, of course, uh, we had uh, uh, Alan uh, on Monday, which was a wonderful show. And then, of course, us today. So now it all goes downhill after this. No, it's downhill today, and it goes back up for tomorrow right, with Nancy. Nancy. And then Kathleen Ma Kathleen Andrews. McAndrews, so it'll stay up there. It's just downhill on for today. Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do have a wonderful show for you. It's uh, uh, an interesting show. We've got, I'll go ahead and you want me to tell the guest and uh, just, just go, go right through it because right as, as, as you continue to wake up, just pretty, wake up. Told me. That's exactly right. Look pretty. Any orangutan. Just sit there and look pretty. That's right. Um, He's great show for you today. We've joy. got uh, pow, zoom, right mm -hmm. to the moon. We have uh, John Cross of Ink Works. We do. John, uh, they've opened a new location of Ink Works in the Colony Square. We'll talk about that. Some wonderful things going on there. We've got, of course, our resident historian, Ron Moore. Mm -hmm is with us and Ron will impart some history uh, uh, on us uh, that he is investigated. We'll also talk about uh, his lovely wife Debbie has a new book, Confederate sure. Voices, which you can pick up at the Red Ribbon uh, and local bookstores and we will talk about that. She had a uh, uh, book signing Saturday, on Saturday at the Red I Ribbon. I went to and you did Which you did and you got a book. <laughs> Very interesting signed. book. We'll talk about that. Mm -hmm. And we also have Dwight Richardson, an old yes. family friend. An old family friend. Of Fenimore's. A talented friend. A very talented have friend. many talented friends. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know. He is talented. Or quite, many friends, for that matter. Quite the, uh, the singer. Uh, quite the, quite accomplished Musician, singer. Musician, accomplished yes. singer. And his uh, kids can out-sing him, though. Yes, they surely can. Like and they should be. Exactly. Exactly. Well, he didn't pursue it like they did, really. I mean, he got into other things. Raising I, a family. I, he had to raise them. I know. They didn't have American Idol back when Dwight was That's exactly child. right. In fact, I think there was only like two channels back when Dwight was <laughs> possibly. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> three. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe He's like, in the house and we're just making fun of him. We are. We, we are. are. We kid because we love. Right. That's what we always say. We That's kid right. because we love. All right. We got a great show. We're going to get right into it. And you're in a good mood. Why? I'm in a fine mood because Why? I've been here for a long time. No. Waiting. No. I'm called the diva, yet she sits down, <laughs> wants to mic up and go. You know, everything says, everything okay there, honey? Got well, anything? that means I'm not a diva, that I can walk right in and I can sit down and we can go. We don't have to... I know. So powder we, your nose. No, we don't have to powder my nose. <laughs> no, no, we don't. I was saying that the Dolphins won on Sunday. They and did. And I, I always that give you a hard exciting. time. And so you I was going to say something good today? I was going to say something good today, but forget it. I'm over it. Don't worry about, about it. I mean, I, right. I, I don't need I your pat on the back to know that I feel good about that win. I've been on a streak for a long time. No sense in, like, being nice today. Exactly. Don't start now. People will confuse you for somebody else. I know. My mom. My mom. If you're nice to me. right. That's and true. we all know where that wound her, where they got her. That's right. So, all right. So, anyway, so we have a great show for you. We're going to be back with Dwight Richardson from Fenimore's Floor Shop. Is that what the correct? Design. Floor Design. Design. Studio. Studio. It's studio. Oh, There's right. no shop. Excuse me. <laughs> Studio. Fenimore's Floral Design Studio. Because our friends, they come from high places. <laughs> yeah, they no have kidding. Those. That's just a floral right. shop. It's a studio. It's just a flower shop. Uh, but it studio. is. He does some excellent work. Those though. flowers audition and they practice. That's exactly right. All right. And uh, what you're going to do during the break. So we'll be back <laughs> with a lot more Tennessee Valley this morning after this. Stay tuned. Great local sports right here on WTNB East Tennessee Television. Keep up to date on all your Walker Valley sports news Wednesdays with the Walker Valley Sports Zone. Get a behind-the-scenes look at all the local high school area football with the pregame, Thursdays at 10. And it's a Friday night tradition. Football Friday, every Friday night at 11 o'clock, right here on WTNB East Tennessee Television. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland, is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. 
Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Has your disability application been denied? Are you frustrated with the administration's processing of your claim? Do you feel as though the administration simply does not understand why you cannot work? You're not alone. My name is Matthew Coleman and I'm an attorney representative. I find that many of my clients share these concerns and others. As a representative, it's my job to communicate your claim to the administration in a language that they can understand. As an attorney, it's my duty to fight for the disability benefits that you deserve. Come talk to me, the Social Security Law Center at Logan Thompson, PC. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite, with one of the best buffets around. Hello, and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here, doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Ledford in Athens will save you at least 2,000 bucks. Don Ledford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Welcome back to Tennessee Valley this morning on WTMB. As always, <laughs> I'm the only one ready. Uh, no, Dwight was ready, but Kim was distracting him. Uh, we are joined by Dwight Richardson of Fenimore's Floral Design Studio. Studio. Got it right. Perfect. Perfect. And uh, there it is on the bottom of the screen. And it's a perfect shop. It is a perfect shop. Look at all this beautiful stuff he, uh, Dwight has brought. First of all, thanks for being with us. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's talk about what you got. We've Let's got right now fall time. time. We've got Christmas coming up. <laughs> I don't like getting up this early, but it's all right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me start with this right yeah, here. This is pasta. just a simple little tiny bitty uh, pumpkin that you can set on your desk if you don't want to spend a lot of money. Something like this is perfect. And it just shows your fall it's very, spirit. It's very colorful. $3.50. That's a oh, pretty good little thing to decorate your desk. Oh, wow, that's really Isn't that cute? cute for three fifty. dollars I'll let you set that right over there. Oh, yeah, you're going to give me the cheap <laughs> stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a neat little thing here. It is a, uh, I've got these in four or five different colors. It's a mason jar type thing. Uh, it has a votive uh, thing on the inside. The top has a little star, and it has a hang up. You can hang those either in trees, branches, just put it on your table. That's a cute little, little thing. That right is there. Oh, now, does it project a star? Mm -hmm. No. It just has one. Yeah, it, just, it just happened to have a star. <laughs> the, but, I know well. but I think those colored cool jars are, are really kind of good. They are. Do you have them in different colors? Yeah, which is great. Red, green, amber, and uh, gold. Oh, see, now I'm a candle freak. That's so a I neat idea. So it is a neat together. idea. And, uh, you know, those little votums last a long time. That's Me perfect too. for outside. It really is. Um, 
<laughs> We're just talking about the new problem. Um, I've got a local artist that hand paints some things. This is just one little example. It's a box uh, for Halloween. It's got a little Halloween uh, scene on it. He, this was a just a plain white looking box. He did all the all the painting on it. Wow! And I've got these in three or four different sizes. He also does uh, shutters and just whatever that's old and antique looking. This is a great, you won't find these in any other shop, I promise, because it's a local artist and he only does business with me. So uh, this is a great little item right there. No kidding. I mean, do you have them in different sizes? Because mm -hmm. I mean, I can sizes. hide a lot they're, of stuff They're stackable in, in three different sizes and they're pretty reasonable. <laughs> that's also. like a faux finish. Yeah. Um, it is kind of like a faux and uh, it's just pretty interesting. I, don't did you paint. say faux finish, Joe? I did say faux finish, then. <laughs> See what happens when he got I am Before he got thin, he could have never so said that. He would have never said the word mauve, either. <laughs> he didn't know what <laughs> what mauve or faux? <laughs> what would he have said beside faux? <laughs> Fox. <laughs> Fox, yeah. Fox, that's right. Uh, this Wicks. is another uh, one of his uh, creations. He's got grace on a pumpkin. He can write anything you want. We did this for a wedding one time. Uh, we had all these pumpkins on the table, and they had their personalized names and year, Aww. and they gave them away as a little door prize. That was a cute little item. That's a neat yes. too. I, people that can paint, I, I really appreciate them for doing that. I just don't paint, so <laughs> I, I do. I just don't do it well. <laughs> uh, it's Tennessee time. These uh, make great little gifts. Uh, also. Um, if you don't mind me saying this, for funeral work, we put flowers around here. We can personalize anything. A lot of people do like personalized things now for funerals. And uh, they want Tennessee ribbon, Alabama ribbon, whatever we got, but they want things personalized. So something like this is some things I have uh, in stock that we can also use. Right, and I do want that to talk for me. a minute about things that we don't really like to talk about, and that is our funerals. But it's mm -hmm. a fact of life with the moment we're born, we're headed for death. And I have seen some of your stuff at funerals, and you do a great job. Well, you really, and you, you know, I can recognize it. I know it's yours. I get uh, that a lot. Yeah, I, 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 that's what I want to hear. And yes, I absolutely, that. I do. I, you know, if you see, I, and I think, oh, that's Dwight. That came from Fenimore's. Mm -hmm. I know him. I've known him since I was just a little girl. <laughs> can you imagine Tim acting like that in a funeral? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Well, I, it, it happens. Yeah, and exactly. I really, I really don't want to say this sound bad either, but I love to do funeral work. It's such a good thing because mm. I love to personalize things such as this. Or uh, I had a, just someone the other day, they wanted a book. Uh, this person that died was a, a very avid reader, so they wanted the books on top of this coffin piece. And it really was kind of interesting to fix all that together. Uh, I just like it. I think it's a tribute to the person. Right. And, and I won't. If you want something different, if you want something that's not going to look like everybody else's, mm -hmm. you need you need to come see me. Yep. And really, because most people send flowers, nice bouquets, right. nice flower arrangements, and oh, that's pretty, that's this. But something that's personalized for that right. individual and done uh, from what they are they it. like is is really <laughs> is. <laughs> Last week I got a call. They wanted uh, a big funeral spray, but they wanted a hammer theme. This guy was a carpenter, mm -hmm. and they wanted hammers. Well, I thought, what in the world am I going to do about a hammer? So I found this hammer about this long. It was a poly resin hammer and fixed everything up, had it tacked to the bottom of that uh, arrangement, and it was very attractive. I mean, as soon as you looked at it, the hammer was what the, you saw. We'll see, you and know? that was and the testimony I love to do that stuff. Too. I, I really did. That's really, that's really pose, cool. golf, I've done a lot of things with golf clubs. Oh, that's neat. You know, it's, it's real, it's kind of fun. And really, that takes it an art. There's an art right, to there that. Is art I mean, to that, if yes. somebody just gives you an idea, you've got to put it to use and make right. it look like. And that's why it's a design studio, right. Dad. That's right. Design, design studio. Design shop. Right. Exactly right. It's a design studio. That's right. I stand corrected. When I do weddings, I you know I want them to know. I always say, "Have you picked a floral designer yet?" Right. right. Because with weddings nowadays, I mean, it has yeah, to be yeah. design work. Mm -hmm. You know, there's nothing simple in weddings anymore. No. So you know, you've got to have. This is an example right here. No one else in town has this. Uh, this just happens to be a copper and silver color. We can do any combination. But these are uh, decorative wires, and you could put photos here. You can put jewelry, or you can just use these for centerpieces without the cards if you'd like to. Uh, you can put little small lights on this. You can do about anything you want to do. Uh, it takes a while to make one of these, I bet. but it's a lot of fun and it's 
something and you have nobody it in else different is going to have. Got any right. color any you want. Color. Yeah. And you know, you could even almost do little tiny ornaments for mm -hmm. Christmas on it. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you could. could put something mm -hmm. like that on. But I can see this a great place for earrings because mm -hmm. I yeah. start trying to put mine in all the little holes in the ones, <laughs> and then you know, after like two weeks, they're all yeah. just laying on the the, the uh, dresser yeah. again. So that would be easy to get them right. on. It would be, and it's just totally different and unique. You haven't seen anything like this at all. No. So. Now, do you do you do you just sit around and think of <laughs> things that could be functional and look good, or how does I mean, or is there like templates of different Sometimes things? Sometimes it comes to me like a flash. Right, just just like it. And then sometimes it's it genius. It's an absolute genius. Sometimes it's in a dream. Sometimes it's in a dream. And it's all fragmented and fragmented. Sometimes it's all I say, hey, you know what I'm going to do? Why don't you make one of those for our table? I saw it in a magazine. I get it anywhere. At magazines, design shows we go to with Forrest all the time. Pinterest is another great place. You can just go any place. But if I can see it, I can copy that with any problem and personalize it to whatever we need. Right. Some of this does come to me. This didn't. This was, I've copied this from the fellow. <laughs> he copied it blatantly, that, that blatantly. I, do. I don't uh, care. But, you know, the other stuff, you know, that little pumpkin thing, that's my creation there. Right. Yeah, okay. I did put that, that together. Uh, but a lot of things are original, but they are copies or variations of something. Right, If, if right. I like it and I think it would sell, I like to make things I put in my home because mm -hmm. if I like it, somebody else is going right. to like it. Right, right. Because exactly. you just Christmas, got good taste. I know. That's yeah, all there is to it. This is... Uh, a little ceramic um, pumpkin. This happens to be uh, silk flowers. Per we call them permanent botanicals in the biz. <laughs> in the biz. We're in the Charles, biz. That's so like salespersons and account no, executives. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. See, that's a permanent botanical. Right? Yes. Right right there. Right. So that's you, exactly what I called it when I saw it. <laughs> you throw that word out next time. Right. Right. Put the bird because I'm just trying to That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Just been working on it. Anyway, uh, if you don't want these, you take them out and you have a nice ceramic uh, holiday. Uh, pumpkin here but that's a very nice little piece right there it is somewhere. a nice it is piece nice. Uh, it is a nice and piece. believe it or not this still makes a nice little funeral thing if people don't want to spend a whole lot of money but they want to send mm -hmm. something this is and something they can keep they're permanent well and these, they're permanent. these are permanent, yeah, permanent panicles. <laughs> <laughs> that's right oh and put this little spider on top of there that just kind of gives a little bling you wouldn't well, want to send, right. right. send that to the funeral home but i mean <laughs> right but if it needs it, a little sparkle it, does. it needs a little sparkle day, you just never know you never know <laughs> Well, uh, I've got cute things, though. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I have got those. really cute things. This is something I have just started carrying about a year ago. They are handmade cards. This happens to be a whole little design of them, but they are handmade cards. Uh, you won't find these anywhere else in town either, I promise you. Uh, and this just happened to be a butterfly theme. Uh, I have several different things for babies, for sympathies, uh, whatever. See, there's, isn't that cute little thing? It I don't is. see how and this one, girl... What's amazing... It's amazing to me. Well, this one doesn't have it after oh, I've sorry. just talked about I'm it. I'm sorry, right there. Here, let me get to the first one. But some of them actually have appliques on the inside as well. Yeah. I mean, and so you can just, you know, it's got the pretty little deco mm -hmm. on the outside. But that's what, mm -hmm. most any of these... But I've seen something somewhere, mm -hmm. I can't remember the name of it, that has these type yeah. of, of 3D... All right, let me, let me ask a question. And again, so I'm... I'm I'm acting like I don't know. <laughs> He's pretending. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretending. I'm question. pretending like I don't know. Of course I know. I'm going to make know. up. Make up so so <laughs> in that particular thing right there, somebody would buy that pack that you have in your hand, and then these are these are like personal cards they would fill out and give to someone. Right. right. They are totally blank, so they can write any piece they want. They could be birthday, it could be sympathy, it could be anything they want because it's a blank card. Right, so but I'm saying once they give the card away and they do it all, then they've got that little container. There's oh, no they card. That's container, yeah. Joe doesn't throw anything away. No, I'm thinking, they okay, because I can okay, use it. You can make this more is, cards. This just <laughs> happens to come with five, five in here. Typically, I sell them individually, but this is a okay. pack of five. five. Okay. Uh, well, these are just, really good yeah. looking. I mean, these, they these are, are very, very, very well really? done. I mean, the trim on them and, and the, the attention That's to a detail. Card. Well, That's I had a gentleman come in the other day, and he loved them. He bought 12 of them right off the bat, and... Uh, that way he can keep them, use them whenever. But they really are a handsome. Now, handsome if you don't want to ask, how much? How much would that pack right this there? This is uh, twenty-two dollars. Okay, you get five. five. Oh, that's not five. too bad. No, no kidding. It's not. It's very personalized. That's, 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 that's what I'm thinking. You got a box. Here, honey, you could use that for change and a bunch of other things. That's right. Who wants that? 
Now, also, we need to note that, yes, while he does beautiful floors, and he has these, you are an actual gift shop, though, too, as well. I, mean, I do have gifts, yes. I didn't mean to, but I, I do have it. <laughs> and you went to the market. <laughs> I went, and, oh, God. Uh, yeah, I, I went, went to the market, market last week. Have you ever been to the market? Yes, I've been to the market Woo! several times. I love it. I know, I know. Uh, but anyway, I am a gift shop. I don't have a tremendous amount of gifts, but I do have some gifts. And you uh, have some men's gifts. You have a room dedicated I have a, specifically. I have a man's room. Right. If you cannot walk into a florist and find much for a man, Right. And I have a whole room that is uh, man-oriented gifts with the plaids and the ducks and the fish and hunting scenes and sea and all this kind of stuff. It's really, really kind of neat. Right. Room. Right. It is. Talk it's, real quick about the, yeah, the Christmas. Christmas is coming up. So. Oh gosh, I know it. I started, know, started decorating to, the other day. To. I know it. This is Mr. Moose and Mr. Santa Claus, and they are going to be in a uh, type of a. Um, Lodge theme. I love the lodge look and right. the uh, pine and the, so the cones and everything. And all of that. So I've got some of these that's going to be with the tree. I don't, I only have these two. These uh, are really, I bought for decoration. Of course, I'll sell them, but this will kind of give you a flavor of kind of what I'm going to have in that studio. I have a whole room of just lodge uh, things and that burgundy and, and dark brown type mm -hmm. colors. And right, these are kind of cute. They're, 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 they're very rich nice. looking. I yeah. mean, very, very And I, for the first time this year, I'm stepping out here a little bit. I don't know how this is going to work. I'll just have to see. I'm having an Elvis Christmas room. Oh, are you? Yeah. Cool. And so uh, everything in there will be gold, lame, and, and, you know, real sparkly stuff. Elvis stand up is right there in his gold suit. And we'll no see. Kidding. Oh, that'll be fun. I had, a, fun. I had uh, three or four cutouts the other day before I took them down to put just the one up. And this lady and these daughters come in and she said, oh, I've just got to have my picture made with Elvis. So <laughs> she goes over there and gets your picture made with well, Elvis. I may have to do that myself. <laughs> so it's right there to show them. I've got a, a champagne colored uh, tinsel tree. It's right there in the corner. So I've got the little Elvis Christmas scene. Oh, going how on. fun. Now, do none. you decorate for people their trees? No. <laughs> you can <laughs> tell them how, though. What a I'm sorry. I do <laughs> yeah, have, right. I do, well, I do have two recording. or three. I do not do trees. I do have two or three people that I do Beautiful. their house. Oh, I so. just don't get into that. It takes so much time and effort, oh. and people probably so we're not special, usually don't want to spend the money to do that. But I do do three or four, and I do some people in Nashville's uh, business. Right. right. Well, back office. when I worked at Interior Accents, it's not open anymore, but they're on yeah. McCoy Street, that gift shop. We did that in that at Christmas time, and that was That's got to be a lot of work. It is. It's very and, hard. And it's hard to make people at happy. At some point, I would like to do rental reefs and things for doors outside. I don't right. mind to do that. I think there might be a market one of these times for that. You used to call me and say, hey, I've got 12 windows and a door. What would it cost me to get these? I bring them out. I come and get them. All you have to do is enjoy them. Oh, you don't well. have to store them. You don't have to buy them. It'd strictly be a rental thing for Christmas. I like that idea. I think it's a good market. Yeah, it, yeah a absolutely. Good so, you, you know, that's not this year, but maybe in maybe the years to come. But okay. no. I'll have you on again before I'll probably get before, <laughs> <laughs> before two <laughs> years is <laughs> up. Right. Well, so real quick, Dwight, tell everybody where you're located, your phone number, so that's okay. how they can get I'm at Market Center Plaza, which is at the corner of Georgetown and Paul Huff Parkway. Phone number is uh, here in Cleveland, 423-473-2073. Okay. That's 4 Seven three hmm. two zero seven three at Market Center, right beside Super Saver. And hours right. of operation. Uh, I'm there typically. Typically, <laughs> right? I've been there before. And there's a sign on I'm the door. Typically there from nine to five. <laughs> okay. And, and he has uh, to make a half a day on Saturday. If you don't have Sometimes in there I do have to, you, right? but I've I've got where I've got people there now pretty much all the time. Good deal. Great weddings. Shop. Don't forget weddings. I oh, love yeah. to do yeah. weddings. Yeah, I've got yeah, yeah. a bunch of weddings coming up. You did up. the one that was on TV, that Channel 12, yeah. the person one. I did the Fox and, yeah, News wedding. Yes, uh -huh. you sure did. It was I great. That, and I was like, I've known it. That was yeah. a lot of fun. That was. Well, I mean, oh, as you can see, beautiful he stuff. Did he does work. excellent work uh, and, and just a, a, a jewel to, to talk to, just a, a friend and we always oh, are you gonna wait, wait, wait. Are you going to do storytelling this year? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. October the 20. 9th and 30th, which is a Monday and Tuesday, Tuesday before yeah. Halloween right. at downtown Tobacco, Cleveland. We'll have the fifth annual. It's called an evening of Cleveland mystery and folklore. We would ask you to buy your tickets early because we're only doing two nights this year instead of three. Right. You can buy your tickets at the chamber okay. or you can buy them at the door, but we'd love to do it. And we've added brand new stories this year. It's And we do the Stamper Ghost at the Stamper Building. Uh, the uh, uh, Nina Craig Mile mm -hmm. at the Mausoleum at Weather Printing. We do outside stories and inside stories. It's the most wonderful thing in the world. And all the proceeds will go to the Allied Arts Council for Children's Beautiful. Education and, and School Stuff. 
Beautiful. Well, good for you. Paint good for great. you because those are the things that get cut they all do. the time or the arts out of the school. Well, so while we're on that subject, I'm president of the Allied Arts, and we have given probably this year around $20,000 in grants. Great. Good for so you. We're, and the, this money helps fund those grants or whatever else we may need. I Terrific. think Peter Pan was in the paper Sunday, if you saw that. Uh, we will be helping try to fund that program also. Excellent. Peter Pan. Good deal. Excellent. See, Thank you. Jack of all trades. I'm telling you. Yep. I'm, I'm Not telling just you. A jack and, and, and like I said, and a wonderful, <laughs> beautiful story he has. You That's need to go right. check it out. They are Dwight, wonderful. Thank you so thank much you. for being with us thank again, you. buddy. And we'll have you back on again. Yeah, thank you. so next, you can decide what you're going to do. In two years, I'll start planning right, right. now. <laughs> <laughs> Figure out what he's going to do with those right open. That's right. All right, folks. We're going to be back. We've got Ron Moore and John Cross on the way when we return after these messages. Stay tuned. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don't look for Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Ledford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Ledford, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Hello, I'm Bill Odom. Hi, and I'm Tammy Odom. We want to invite you to join us on Joyous Living Today for interviews, testimonies, and gospel music by special guests and Dixie Sunshine. Right here on WTNB, Sundays at 4 p.m. and Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Jesus, Jesus, the light of the world. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. Has your disability application been denied? Are you frustrated with the administration's processing of your claim? Do you feel as though the administration simply does not understand why you cannot work? You're not alone. My name is Matthew Coleman and I'm an attorney representative. I find that many of my clients share these concerns and others. As a representative, it's my job to communicate your claim to the administration in a language that they can understand. As an attorney, it's my duty to fight for the disability benefits that you deserve. Come talk to me, the Social Security Law Center at Logan Thompson, PC. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790 7100. Welcome back to Tennessee Valley this morning on this middle of the week Wednesday. Thank you for joining us. Hope you're having a good morning so far. Don't forget the show will replay today at noon from noon to one. We're now joined by John Cross. 
Hello. Of Inkworks. How you doing, buddy? I'm great. We've had John on before, and we're having him back again because, because a couple reasons. Because he knows so much, but, you know, his <laughs> wife is in the house today, and I can't imagine why she's not sitting over here. And Come here, baby. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I mean, we know she's, she's the brains she's in the family. <laughs> I mean, we know how it is. But anyway, welcome, Misty, to the show <laughs> and to the studio. And Corey and his girlfriend, Shannon. Yeah, Corey and, and Shannon here as well. Now, we've got some couple things we're going to talk to you about. I know we've got a new shop. Mm -hmm. But I think you're also doing some kind of a fundraising thing yourself, are you? This not? time of the year is when we do all of our charity work. Um, during the summer, everybody wants to go and play, but then they get that little extra money, and their Christmas time comes around, they get a little mm -hmm. soft, so we do a lot. Uh, like you know, we've, we've done Toys for Tots. This is probably the fourth year. Helped a lot of kids out in the community. Right. Um, we uh, also you know, give gift certificates for people doing a fundraiser for like uh, somebody that passed away, maybe not have insurance or whatever. Right. Um, uh, this year uh, we are working with the uh, Breast Cancer Foundation. She don't know it yet, but I got a, a friend of mine that's in the Mary Ellen Loker Foundation. And uh, we are going to offer breast cancer ribbons like super cheap, any any color, what if it's just breast cancer or lung cancer or anything, just some sort of awareness that would um, uh, help out s right, somebody. You know? uh, if you don't know that um, October is National Breast Ca Cancer Awareness mm -hmm. Month, but like you were talking about, so many people have been touched by it, so you don't necessarily have to do a pink ribbon, even though that's what yeah, it's about. Yeah, you could do the purple or the yellow or orange or, or whatever, and. Um, what we're going to do is we'll donate that to some uh, uh, a cancer. You know, we donate all of it. All of it. Any, if you come in and you get a ribbon representing, uh, let's say, branch cancer. Right. And it's uh, thirty-five dollars. We did reduce the prices to thirty dollars. Our shop minimum is usually fifty, but all that money, that proceeds goes directly to them. Uh, we're not keep. We're not keeping none of the money from that. We're not. Well, you don't, see, else, that, you really don't yeah, see that, guys. You really don't see that out don't. there. You see that a portion of the proceeds will go, but they are going to donate their complete fee that they're doing for that breast cancer um, if, it, if you do a ribbon. And it doesn't have to be just the, the pink one. It can no. be any color that you can be you any did, color. Because yeah. I know Joe's mother died of pancreatic, and that was purple, right? Is it, wasn't it purple I, when we I, saw I, it? Yeah, well, I, yeah, it I think it was yeah. purple. And purple stands also for um, uh, Alzheimer's, I believe, as well. It, well. Right, but it's not the ribbon. It's a different, it's right. It's just the color person. But, but what we're talking about, okay, when you're talking about the ribbon, we're talking about a tattooed a ribbon. tattooed ribbon, right. right? If you come in, in memory and you want of, somebody, or just, in memory just of, or you want a, a, a and, and the ribbons are, you know, a good size ribbon like that. Um, we'll uh, all the proceeds to that will go directly to that's uh, great. another foundation. That's well, great. and you see so many times that with people with tattoos, and, and guys, this is not your your mom and dad's tattoo time. This is, I mean, everybody <laughs> everywhere that you go, every class of people. They're enjoying the art, and it really is an art. It's, I mean, you know, and if you look at John, and then if you look at Corey, they have art all over. Um, but whether or not you, and they say once you start, you can't stop. Well, a small one is just the beginning. It snowballs from right, there. Right, it goes yeah. from there. <laughs> it goes from there. But several people have them. I know that John, he actually did permanent makeup on mm -hmm. myself. He did the eyeliner. And ladies... <laughs> It's worth that. It is worth that. I mean, and honestly, if you want something like that to have your eyes, you know, done, and I'm just, this is my personal opinion, go to a tattoo person. They do it every day, all day long, seven days a week. We're, we're know, trained to know they're the They're trained skin. to know that. These anesthetic what are they called? Estheticians. Right. They get a license to do that. I'm not sure that they get the uh, actual hours that you guys get. So, <laughs> no. you know. it, when it comes to skin and impregnating some sort of ink inside that skin, I mean, I, I do it every day. I understand, I, I understand how to make ink go from a bottle into the skin. I understand the, the dynamics of the skin and uh, what I need to do to successfully tr uh, achieve the saturation in that tattoo that I need to, to uh Well, to he get. did a good job, and I'm telling you, that is wonderful, wonderful well, to have. A, but I think a lot of folks in town probably have heard of Ink Works. You mm -hmm. guys have been around for a while, and, and uh, a lot of people have come to you. A lot of folks that have not come to you kind of wish they did. Uh, <laughs> 
But I get a lot of people like that. But uh, we, we have to also tell you that, that John's opened up another location. Of course, there is a location on Willow Street. On Willow by, Street. Uh, 718 Willow Street behind by Advance. Advance. Okay, behind Advance Auto. And then the new location's in Colony Square. Mm -hmm. All right, by Tanfastic Tanning. Okay. All right. And that's a nice shop. It's yeah, a big it shop in there. A lot of a lot of fun going on <laughs> over there. It's always a joy and a pleasure to be over there. But they do. I mean, because a lot of people get a tattoo when they do, they don't like it. It wasn't done in a in a proper way. And you can fix that. I mean, we yeah. were with Corey yesterday, and uh, he showed us several pictures of actually you guys are are, are able to do something on top to yeah, fix if, something that might not have gone a, very well. If you have a tattoo, especially the ones that are 15, 25 years old. Uh, people still have the a preconceived notion that oh it can only be some feathers or a big black dot or whatever. No, that's not the case anymore. If it's if it's light enough, and some sport some of them that aren't light enough, uh, I can I can make them disappear easy. Right, and then you can always with, put with, another with, design on top of something that makes it coordinate. Yeah, with ninety percent of the time, I can make it uh, to where I can take another tattoo and put it on top of it. And that tattoo doesn't necessarily have to be what you have to settle with, but it has to be what you want it to be. Right. And uh, and I can let you know, yes, we can do it like this, or if we make a variation to it, it's gone. Right. There's a lot. Now, the average tattoo, let's say the, the ribbons, for example, because there's many folks out, be folks out there that would not get a tattoo, but would like to get the ribbon tattooed for personal mm -hmm. reason. How long does that take to, to tattoo a ribbon on? Um, usually when we do stuff like that where it's a repetitive tattoo where we offer get this tattoo and we'll donate or whatever mm -hmm. um 20 minutes really so minutes. they can come on their lunch hour and get it done as long as it's a schedule if it's a scheduled appointment yeah. they can right. yeah because it's <clears throat> excuse me like for me to do it i mean you're gonna you're gonna have a two to three week wait because that's how far in advance right to uh ha make it to have an appointment with me um but uh, usually if something only takes 20 minutes and I'm in between, I can say, well, I can't do it on your lunch, but if you come back at 5.30, then my next appointment ain't until 6. Right. I, can, I can do that. I can right. do it then. Okay. And okay. not only do you, can you get tattooed, you can get pierced, right? Yes, you can. You can get pierced. You have all the little cute little piercing things, and then you can have one of those really big holes in your ears if you want to, or you can get a, a cute little, little tiny yep. little stud. Yeah. So it's just I a can cool do, thing I, they want to do. I, 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 we pierce from the belt up. Okay. We, okay. Don't, we, don't, we don't mess with anything lower than that. All right, but. and now, I'm glad you said that. Wait, because I want to ask this question. I was going to say it was a family show, but since you said that, that's great. <laughs> so what is the most interesting or unique place you've ever had to pierce somebody. Um, and there's pictures of this posted. Um, this is the coolest thing you just did? Yeah. Uh, that was so cool. If, I mean, God bless her. Some people don't really like it, but usually stuff like that's an exhibition. You get a little bit of pain. You get numerous tattoos within a matter of a few moments. Uh, what she got was a corset from the top of her shoulders all the way down. It was 18 piercings. And then we laced it up, and uh, I got a friend of mine that uh, does photography. And we set a date up with the photographer, uh, professional, real nice photographer. Um, we set an appointment with her up. I do the piercing if you want the sides of your legs pierced and laced up. A little bit of pain involved, but once you get the, the laced up and you get your, the photographs made, then you just take them out. And now it's, it's exhibition. Ow. But, uh, now let me ask but, you. I, hey, you I've seen have, it. You didn't have it done. Of course, you did it. But how how painful is that when you, I mean, because I saw that, I saw it, and you, and it literally was, is pulled together and tied, I mean. But it's like not it's loose. Like, it's, I mean, it's not tight. It's not pulling. It's, it's just barely in there. Okay. I have her hold her arms forward a little bit, then I lace it up. That way, this okay, ain't going to okay. tug, and this ain't going to tug. It's so. going to take a while, I mean, because I have my belly button pierced, and this is before you guys and everything, but it took about six months for that puppy to get to where I could, you know, now I can pull our car. You can put a chain on the back of the car, but before and we've it was done just. I think it only took like three fix. months for me to get used to my belly button. But you know, I, I can, but right. boy, it took a long time because, you know, everything would it's catch on sensitive. it. And it took forever for the scar yeah. tissue to get completely healed on the inside, you know. So I, when I saw that on her back, I thought, oh. 
You know, although there's not a lot of things to catch on there, that's going to take a little while to heal. But that's, I mean, it is. It's cosmetic. It is, exe you know, for to exhibition, you know. Sometimes. Some people try their best to keep them in, but you never can tell with a surface piercing like that whether your body's going to reject it, such as like right. a splinter or something right. like that. Right. Now, now, let me ask you this. So when she's not having it uh, laced, laced through or, or and everything, does she still have to keep something in there to keep the the, the holes? The there? barbell, the, the bars no stay in there. They have to stay there. there. They stay there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All, right. All the time. And then so. she'll get someone to lace it up. You but know, gets to unlace it and clean it and everything, and then that. lace it back. Yeah. But it's a unique experience wow. out there, guys. He can do anything as anything. In, you know, in memory of of, mm -hmm. of a loved one. Portraits. Um, you know, portraits. I can, do, I can do some pretty cool portraits. And anything in between. I mean, they do a great job. It's a fun shop. It's a clean shop. You're going to feel very comfortable when you are in there. They can do anything from cosmetic surgery down to putting a corset on well, your Well, this, this is Why? the thing you need to know but that hey. what people don't know. Tattoo shops are regulated. Right. with the health oh, department yeah and you it's not like it, you know there's there, there's sterilization things you have to uh, meet and it, i mean that you get checked by the health department so your business is a very regulated the, uh, very safe yeah place. The, the same people that regulate us also regulate like when you go into restaurants and you see the little yellow sticker right. Right. we scored 80 or whatever we score on ours we score hundreds on ours across the board yeah, very go. clean very shop. That's a very good job. And it's been around a long time. How long have you been doing this? Um, I've been tattooing since 2006, but Inkwork's been open since uh, 2010. And a lot of the guys that I work with, uh, yeah, we're a young, you know, two-year, almost yeah. three-year shop, but the people that work there are, uh, I'd say combined, we've got at least 20 to 25 years of service. Well, and talent. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, when you can get somebody that has that ability, not everybody can can do that no nope. and it doesn't hurt guys it really does not hurt that bad i mean i'm not saying that there aren't some places that are very sensitive and, and it's irritating more than anything it's more than the people that come in deep. the people that come in that are really nervous and like oh my gosh oh my gosh I, this is going to hurt so bad that's the people that i want to tattoo because they realize wow this is not really as bad as what it is and i get a lot of people to say well i can't get something in there real real small or my little name the ink these days are more formulated for the skin. Right. It's the small detail, if you want to see the glimmer off of a, a portrait that I put on you in somebody's eye that meant to you, right. I mean, I've seen grown men cry. You know, I, right. I, can, I can put that shadow underneath your eyelashes. I can put that glimmer in your eye. I can put a shadow underneath a, a, maybe a mole on someone's cheek that was there. That was I can make the reflection look like off of someone's glasses. If, if the glasses distort the eyes a little bit, I can do that distortion. I can do the hair the way they wear it or a set of earrings that they always wear. I can put that detail in there. Right. That's easy. I, I, folks, you just need to drop by, make an appointment first, but if you want to just drop by just to kind of look at the shop, see the different ideas that you could get, maybe if you're thinking about getting a tattoo, uh, and meet John and all the great guys out there. You need to you need to give them a uh, give them a shot. And gals, now, Misty and gals. That's right. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, got to be politically just, correct. Well, guys right. and gals. Yeah, y'all saved She's me. She's probably the I best. I got to go home with her. Y'all saved right. me. That's right. Probably, well, you know, Corey's over there, so yeah, you're the best. But Misty's probably the best one. Yeah. <laughs> well, now let's let's uh, real quick again your locations and your phone numbers of both locations so the uh, folks get in touch with you. On Willow Street behind Advance Auto, um, there it is uh, seven nine zero seven four seven four. Okay. It's in the little brown building right behind it. Mm -hmm. um, I am also on Keith Street by or right behind Smoothie King. Right. You just ride to the back, um, and I'm the last business on the right. Right. Um, you'll see a big star with ink works and stuff on it. Um, one quick thing: we are doing No Shave November. Okay. okay. And um, that's why I'm kind of scared. I'm gonna start now. I might as well. <laughs> But uh, all through the month of November, we're going to have contests. And all the information you can find on either uh, my Facebook or This Is Inkworks uh, Facebook, Inkworks Tattoo and Body Piercing Studio. Okay. Studio. Studio. Oh, studio. Yeah, another studio. Another artist. <laughs> right. Not a shop. That's it's right. a studio. <laughs> but um, and uh, that is also, and there's a lot to that, so please uh, go and look and uh if anything, take a gander at what we've got going on because that's also going to benefit another charity. Uh, got a lot of people that's going to be there. A lot of people last year had the No Shave November. We walked around in beards. And then we'll have um, 
uh, photographers and stuff come do that, and we're going to raise money for those that enter. We're going to give well, all we'll that to another. Well, we'll have you back when it's yeah, time definitely. to do that, so yeah, you well, can talk definitely. about that in detail. I remember last year when Corey was a was a woolly bird here <laughs> over there. So, but this, this instead of just doing it towards us having some fun, I'm like, well, look, look how many people joined in. Let's let's do this That's real. That's a good idea. Let's, let's get everything. That's a good idea. But let, let 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 it benefit someone else, except for our <laughs> itchy faces. <laughs> <basis. laughs> All right, folks, really good guy, John Cross and all the great guys they have, and gals, at uh, Inksworth, <laughs> Inksworth, both locations, Willow Street and, of course, Colony right, Square. And our son, Corey. Which, and our son, Corey, there, yes. And he is, does a good job, Does too. a wonderful job. And, and uh, if you don't and, believe him, you, you believe us, you just yeah, ask him. Yeah, just ask him. You he'll ask tell you. him, he'll tell you how good he is. Just, or you can ask him, his head never swells. <laughs> that's know, right, I that's know, right. I know, I know. All right, folks, we're going to be back. We've got Ron Moore on the way. He's in the house. Talk about some history when we return after these messages. Please stay tuned. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Hello, I'm Bill Odom. Hi, and I'm Tammy Odom. We want to invite you to join us on Joyous Living Today for interviews, testimonies, and gospel music by special guests and Dixie Sunshine. Right here on WTNB, Sundays at 4 p.m. and Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Jesus, Jesus, the light of the world. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. Has your disability application been denied? Are you frustrated with the administration's processing of your claim? Do you feel as though the administration simply does not understand why you cannot work? You're not alone. My name is Matthew Coleman and I'm an attorney representative. I find that many of my clients share these concerns and others. As a representative, it's my job to communicate your claim to the administration in a language that they can understand. As an attorney, it's my duty to fight for the disability benefits that you deserve. Come talk to me, the Social Security Law Center at Logan Thompson, PC. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790 Seven one zero zero.
Welcome back, Tennessee Valley this morning on WTMB. Joe and Kim Palo with you again, middle of the week Wednesday. Glad you've joined us. We are now joined by Ron Moore, our buddy, our history, our historian friend. Tells <laughs> us all about Bradley County history and the area around here. Uh, and today, our topic is? Well, it's one of the most talked about things in Bradley County. Over the last 47 years. My hair. No, that's second. <laughs> uh, but it's a, a little football game that will be played this Friday night. Yes. The Cleveland-Bradley football game. Yes, absolutely. And uh, the, the Blue Raiders come to visit Bradley okay. uh, this year. And uh, so 47 years ago, Cleveland opened in 1965, and they played their first football game. In those 47 years, Bradley and Cleveland's only played 37 times. They were too they, bad for yeah, a little bit. There were some <laughs> periods of there, 81, 82, they didn't play. I don't, I don't remember why they didn't play that time. And then the 2000s to 2008, uh, basically they didn't play for eight years. So uh, the two years, uh, I don't know what that was in the middle of the 80s. I don't remember why. But you have to remember Cleveland was on a different size uh, right. yes. program and Bradley was bigger. And then also then uh, uh, those years that uh, 2000, uh, the, 91s and 92s or some of that, but uh, just some interesting statistics that uh, I'd like to throw out just for, for, your, for the fun of it. Right, and for You know, uh, our Bradley and Cleveland played the first game of the season four times. Uh, they played twice the, uh, uh, as the second game, and they played 11 times as the final game of the season. Hmm. And it didn't matter who, when you played first, last, or second, they won about the same percentage-wise right. over. The most points ever scored in a Cleveland Bradley game was 95 points. Wow. And that was in 2001, Cleveland scored 61 points and oh. Bradley 34. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, the most <laughs> lopsided victory ever was uh, Cleveland beat Bradley 75 to 8 in 1991. And uh, I think it was about 1992, if I'm not mistaken. I remember that. Uh, I remember yeah, it was, it was 1992. Ugly. Uh, which was probably the end of the two-year agreement. Every time, you know, high schools have a two-year agreement to play each other. I'd say our, our agreement probably ran out in 92. We didn't play them for eight more years after that. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if that was the reason or not, <laughs> but it was pretty good. Uh, the number of times that, the, that one team has shut out the other, uh, Cleveland has shut out Bradley seven times, and Bradley has shut out uh, Cleveland only twice. Uh, the lowest scoring game ever was 7-0 in 1979. And uh, that was won by Cleveland, of course. Uh, they have played, uh, let's say, 37 times. The uh, Cleveland has scored 966 points. Bradley only 500. The average, with it, we, but you look at this, the average points per game has been 26 to 14 in Cleveland's favor. So basically less than a two touchdown favor mm -hmm. uh, win on average. Uh, right. it, it, whether it's 1.2 point, points or 100 points, it's still a win. But the, the average has been there. So now what does that mean for this Friday night? <laughs> Not a darn thing. <laughs> Not a darn thing. <laughs> Not a thing. Throw either. the records out there. That's right. right. Uh, paper schmapers. Bradley won the very first. <clears throat> of course, Bradley had uh, the longest winning streak for Cleveland, I believe, was eight years. And then, uh, then come back and then... Bradley's longest win streak was uh, four years, starting about 1974 through 78, and Cleveland's was in that long period of there where we were outscored so bad. Uh, and then, of course, uh, that winning streak was ended in 2009 by Damon Floyd's team that year. They won uh, there at Cleveland, and then the next year, uh, the uh, Blue Raiders come over to Bradley and beat them, and then the next year, Cleveland, Bradley went over to Cleveland and beat them. And I don't know if there's a pattern coming here or not, right, but right, uh, right. but now I haven't give you all the facts and stats that I, I have, and there are tons of them. You can you can analyze this all you want to, and there's no rhyme or reason. There are years when Cleveland was ranked very very well, and Bradley beat them, and vice versa. We had the Mud Bowl one year; they mm -hmm. won by three points there yeah. in the last play of the game, basically, or towards the last end of the game. Uh, so there is no statistics. Throw out the record books, as everybody says. If Bradley plays like they did against Blackman, look out Cleveland. If Cleveland mm -hmm. play like they did against McMinn County and Ottawa, look out Bradley. Right. So we don't know. And I'm not giving the way the other things is because every Friday night 
we have a trivia question yes. uh -huh. on yeah. football on friday football friday and football friday has uh tougher questions every week well the question this week will be about Bradley Cleveland, and I haven't talked about what we're talked about. There's so many other things oh, yeah. that you can go. And, uh, you know, I tried to analyze it. You know, Cleveland's won 70%, Bradley's won 30. Uh, doesn't matter if they played first or lack or second. Doesn't matter if it was cold or hot or dry. It's all been about the same. You know, whether on the, all the wet games, it was 70 to 30, that type of win. So uh, it don't matter what color uniform, whether home or away, right. it's been – it just been a uh, thing. I think Bradley's actually beat uh, Cleveland more uh, at home than they have away, though. Right. So there's one positive thing. And Cleveland is about 50-50. They've just wherever they played. You know. Cleveland had a great team for many years. You know, in the 90s they had the those three repeat state champions, yes. and that was the year yes. they just dominated everybody. Mm -hmm. Some years when Bradley were playing good, uh, the teams didn't play each other. Back when Bill Price come back, right. you know, right. Uh, right. and then. Uh, of course, as you well remember, uh, we we got a coach and oh. and uh, Matt was there mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. uh, we didn't win very well or no. didn't win. Excuse me, that term was didn't win and well. Ron and we I are win. still looking for that guy. That's yeah. right. That's right. So, but there's uh, a lot we would like to say and do to that man. <laughs> I like to say the 75 eight is, is the biggest margin and everything. Like, yeah. And shortly after that, we didn't play for eight years. Well, you know, and I, I, I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not, but. You know, well, it got uh, out of hand there for a little sure, bit, the sure rivalry. Yeah. I mean, it's been a long standing for as long as I can remember. I mean, since I was a kid. And in fact, Joe couldn't believe it when we moved here. Everybody, I mean, it was important if he was from Bradley or Cleveland. I mean, that rivalry was. Well, I've, from, I've drove from, through the Cleveland you know, parking lot and. Yeah, it's yelled been, things, yeah. but now we things. <laughs> I will say have this you climbed is the a top huge. Of things on the no, I have not climbed anything. I'm not a climber. <laughs> now, it's, it's a huge, it's a huge rivalry, especially right here in yes. Cleveland, Bradley County. But of course, the biggest rivalry has been Bradley and, and McMinn. Mm -hmm. goes it's, back the to it's the second long, longest, longest uh, in the state. Uh, South Pittsburgh, Marion County is the longest. Yeah, and right so now. I mean, there's rivalries, but of course, when you're talking about this, is almost like brother playing brother because they're what, how many miles apart? You know, school. <laughs> right. and now, right. Yeah, and now Walker right. Valley's in the in the right. mix right. there. And, and and Bradley and Walker Valley played this last week, and let me say that Walker Valley did an excellent job. Uh, they're no one's little brother anymore. No, no, I want to make sure I understand that. Uh, they're gonna uh, they're gonna come. They've beat Cleveland a couple of times now. They've never meet Bradley. Uh, but, you know, the, that game could have went either way the other night. Uh, Absolutely. One mistake here and there, and one good defensive stand, and that would have been a different ball game. Absolutely. So, uh, and so this ball game Friday night, who's going to win? Well, I, I think I know. I'm not going to predict it yet because it's a little early in the week. <laughs> yes, it is. It the Wednesday. Is. I'm going to wait until like right. Thursday. Right. I've, got to pick, I've got to pick for the banner the day before noon. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's Wednesday. So I've got to, before noon, you I have to turn for, in my picks for there. And so uh, you know where my love is. I right? know. Yes, I we know. do know and, where your love is. My heart is. I don't know where my brain is right. yet, though. Uh, heart, brain, right? or, yeah. Now, well, now he but, can, but, uh, he we, can vote with his heart, his brain. Joe cannot. He always has to vote with yeah, his heart. Yeah, it's just that uh, people can win a lot of money for well, everyone. But it's going to be a great time. Joe can vote for anybody. As, as long, long as they're not playing Miami. <laughs> <laughs> when it gets to Miami, when you know, it it's, just the offense, it's just And we did win this past weekend, so it's so been it, a good week yeah, so good far. Week. But I'll tell you what, good. though. It was no. ugly, but we still Well, we it. are going to have the highlights of the Bradley-Cleveland game on Football Friday. Of course, we're going to be live Friday night after the game's over with. We'll talk about the ball game. We'll show highlights. Uh, and we'll take your calls, and we'll find out what you guys thought about the game because it is. It's going to be a barn burner. It is every time they play each other. It is. You can throw the records, as we always say. It's kind of clichéish, but out the window when those two teams get on the field because it is brother against brother. And uh, the wonderful thing is that when it's all said and done, those kids go home and over the weekend they're buddy buddies and they oh, yeah. go out together and all that yeah, kind of stuff. Yeah, it used to not be that way. Real quick before I saw that we're about to go is oh, yeah. Debbie's book. I just picked wow. it up on Saturday. She had a book signing at the Red Ribbon. Is there another one planned anytime soon? Not a book signing immediately, but the Red Ribbon has has them in stock there, and they already autographed. They're she already signed. Yes, there. they are. And then uh, if you if you want to get one personalized, you can come by our radio show on Saturday mornings from right. uh, ten to twelve. And Deb is usually there signing the book. I don't think she's going to be this Saturday. She's going to 
the National Trail of Tears meeting in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh. Oh, and I yeah. think she's leaving Saturday morning, and I'm doing the radio show by myself. So, oh, good luck. So <laughs> I'll, I'll, I could pretend to sign her name. It won't look near as right. good. It won't look as good. Yeah. But you do but, want to pick up You do want to pick up a copy it's of that very book and read it. Very, I'm, yes. I'm in the midst of it. A very, very good, good book and good reading. Ron, thank you so much for being oh, with us, buddy, it. as always. Don't forget Football Friday, Friday night, Confederate Voices. Debbie Moore, pick it up at the Red Ribbon. Or listen, Old, time, Old Town Cleveland on Whoop Radio 99.9 from 10 to 12 on Saturday. Have yourself a good Wednesday. We'll see you next time on Tennessee Valley this morning.